Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Monday edition of our conversation with Father Pat here at SSJ at Home. And Father, uh, you are uh, obviously, uh, not, not that I am, but you were celebrating Texas A&M's rise in the pool. <laughs> You're at your mom's. Uh, you didn't bring your clerics. So uh, I, I guess all of the Aggie fans are okay with that. Oh, uh, we're good with that. <laughs> okay. My shirt needs to be a little redder. But that's <laughs> Um, so let's talk a little bit today about your, um, your article in this week's um, bulletin about the need for improved uh, dialogue amongst uh, family and friends at this time after the election is, is ended. Yeah, you know, to me, it's, it's such a sad thing. I, I see it happening um, in families. I, 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 I see it happening in our community. I hear about it in the confessional. We're just we're getting so torn apart by this election, by everything that's going on in society. I mean, even when we uh, agree with people, the, the level of frustration and the level of, of anxiety and all just, you know, makes us so impatient and uh, just so quick tempered. And it just affects us in so many different ways. And so, you know, even as we go forward here and, and, uh, you know, I, 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 we need to certainly support this being a fair election and certainly support the continued uh, examination of that and, and examination, making sure that it was a fair election. But, you know, at some point we've got to, we've got to move on. We've got to move beyond this. Um, you, you know, we, we, we have to continue to defend our Christian values and we have to continue to find ways to defend those values in society. But what worries me is, is that in defending our values, we, we, we personally corrupt them, you know, that the way we act, the way the things we do aren't in line with our Christian values, that we are getting less patient and, you know, more frustrated and uh, more quick tempered. And, and so, you know, I just really hope that, uh, you know, however people voted in this last election, that we can continue to come together as a community, that families can come together uh, and work together, right, for continuing to promote those Christian values, as I talked about in the article about, you know, reaching out to the, to the pregnant mother in need and to, to reach out to others, to, to come together to, to help our community. Uh, there are a lot of practical things we can do to to help this community. It is a bit of the uh, serenity prayer that we all have to remember, right? To uh, have this peace, the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. And right now, a lot of things on the national level are, are out of our hands, right? There, there isn't a lot we can do to change that. But to, to really look at those things we can change and those things we can change are are here in our community and, and, and how can we work together to change those things in our community and our family to, to promote those Christian values, to live by those, those Christian values, to reach out in peace, to reach out in kindness and gentleness, uh, to be forgiving uh, and to really just come together as a family, to come together as a community. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Uh, we're just a little over two weeks away from Thanksgiving. Uh, and on that day, uh, a lot of families will gather around the dinner table and these kinds of topics will come up. Um, how do we, how do we promote kindness and good conversation with each other? What do we do and what do we not do? You know, obviously it takes two to tango and, and, and all we can do is is control what we do, you know, and that's where, you know, we just have to keep praying that, that we stay patient, that we stay, that we have be filled with the Holy Spirit, right? And, and, and yes, I see it in my own family, right? And have the, that, that, that same anxiety in my own family and, and know that we're human, know that there's going to be failures there. Uh, but, um, you know, for these next couple of weeks, we need to really be uh, praying for the coming of the Holy Spirit to be filled with the Holy, the Holy Spirit so that whatever happens, we exhibit those fruits of the Holy Spirit to, 
peace and gentleness and kindness. You know, um, uh, that controlling our own, controlling our own, allowing the Holy Spirit to come in us is something we can practically do. You know, we're not going to change the violence that's going on with uh, outside with the riots and things like that. We're not going to change those things. And I'm certainly not, not, not advocating for that violence and stuff, but, but that's not where we can make a difference. Where we can make a difference is by just making sure we stay in peace and that we stay. It's, it's looking at the, the bigger picture, which is the hope for eternal salvation. That's where it all comes back to. And, and we got to make sure that in trying to defend our values in society, we're not losing our souls. Brother Pat, thanks for your uh, words of wisdom and your guidance uh, during this difficult time. Uh, uh, give our best to your mom and uh, travel safely on your way home. All right. Thank you.